Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Right, today we got a bit of a kit for you. This one is from E-Leaf and it was kindly sent over from Johnny at UK Vapor Brand. So big thanks for that. It's called the Ice Stick Mix Kit and here we are. We've got the Ice Stick Mixer mod there and we've also got the LO Pop tank sitting on top. Now this mod goes up to 160 watts and the sub ohm tank is rated between 40 and 90 watts. Right we're at the table then so we've got the ice stick mix kit from E-Leaf, massive product warning on the front there. We've got social media on this side, on the other side we've got UK Vapor Brands, authorised distributor of E-Leaf and we've got QR codes etc on there. Contents on the back and another huge warning. This is a sleeve and it just slides off like that. You present it with the black box with e-leaf written on it and a couple of bits on the back there for you. Right inside you get a few little cards and goodies here. We've got uh, basically this thing here just says your maximum refill nozzle is 3.2 millimeters. Battery uh, safety card there. We've also got, what's this one here? This one tells you all about the different types of coils that you can buy for the uh, LO pot tank. We get a little baggie here with some gaskets and O-rings in for the tank. We get a quick start guide here. And we also get more a more comprehensive manual which shows you all you need to know for basically the mod as well. But it does go into uh, different languages after about four pages. But everything you need to know is in there. Right, there's also... A cable now it's supposed to be a USB C, but uh, they've sent me a USB B cable here, so it doesn't actually fit uh, with the USB port that you can see on the device here. So, a little niggle that one. I've got some ca USB C cables, so it's not a problem, but we you can do balanced charging with this device up to 2.5 amps max uh, quick charge as well so you can charge a couple of 18 615s one and a half hours which i don't recommend doing i always uh, recommend using an external battery charger but it's there if you should so wish we do get another spare coil this one is i think this is the n2 coil and you also get the m2 coil uh, pre-installed they're both 0.2 ohms right let's have a look at the tank first then so here it is this is the elo pop tank let's have a look on the bottom first there you go it just says elo pop usual markings e-leaf there floating 510 with a peak ins uh, insulator surrounding it as ever i wouldn't advise using this on a hybrid mechanical device because it doesn't protrude and it's not adjustable so it is a floating uh, 510 there so on the top you do have a resin 810 fit and drip tip but uh, as ever we've got a couple of o-rings on so all of your normal 810s aren't going to fit in here and we'll just uh, see if i can find one lying around is one off the kelpie but as you can see it's too loose so you need to find ones that have got the o-rings in the top quick look inside the top there excuse the moisture it's recently been cleaned so we've got a generous size uh, airflow hole there so we have got a little bit of nerding around the top. Now this is, you actually pull this one up and push it across the fill. Now there is a marker, you can just see there the arrow. So you can't just push it, so it has got a child lock. So you push, pull it up and then push it across to expose your fill port. Now you have got a gasket there. Like I say, oh, it's not a bad size hole this one and I haven't had any problems filling it, but your fine tip bottles are going to be the, the, your preference here so you don't have any danger of it creating a globule of uh, e-liquid and going everywhere. But push it back, locks into place, there's absolutely no way a child is going to undo that one. So that's a, an awesome little touch. So we've got adjustable airflow which has got stoppers on both sides so we can have it fully open fully shut or anywhere in between and you've got the same happening on both sides as ever to unscrew this is where you can change your glass o-ring around the top there another o-ring there which goes onto your coil 
quick look at its glass it's only two mill millimeter uh, milliliters i should say and you can just see that it's an extra thick wall because this is a tbd compliant tank two mil capacity i'm not sure if they do larger size tanks uh, in the rest of the world but this is what we've got today and let's have a quick look at uh, the coil don't want to go into too much detail but it's basically a mesh mesh core for you i have been using this for a few days now not uh, continuously as you can see there it hasn't gunked up at all but i have washed it out we've got the familiar type golf ball thing going on in the middle which uh, uh i'm not sure if it uh, adjusts the airflow makes it uh uh, it restricts it definitely but um it's in there anyway we've got mesh and you've got your cotton around there there you go hwm2.2 ohms 40 to 90 watts these are your wicking holes uh, ports here so make sure you've saturated it with juice and inside there plug it back together and fill it up with juice and leave it for a good 10 20 minutes before your first puff just to make sure that, that coil is properly saturated right let's go on to the mod now right on to the star of the show then the e-leaf ice stick mix mod so as you can see we do have a, a resin panel on this particular one and you can get it in all sorts of various colors i will put a caption on the screen for you we do have the e-leaf logo at the top there this is the uh, detachable resin panel just have a quick look around it the other side has got this more smoother finish uh panel here when i first got this i was like oh my god this is gonna not be to everyone's uh, taste this particular pattern but i do believe the other varieties have different patterns on the back but we got the uh, mix uh, ice stick mix logo there usb c firmware update and charging port is on the side on the front we got clicky button there's your screen and clicky up and down buttons too Let's have a quick look at the top. There's your 510 plate here. Now the dimensions of this, we've got 52 millimeters across by 27 uh, in diameter basically and 83 in height. So it's a quite a short little mod this one is, but we have got a spring mounted 510 pin for you. And you can just see there, a little bit, uh, not on the smooth side but i've had no problems connecting any atomizers there's your 510 plate with a couple of star shaped screws quick look on the bottom then we've got some battery venting holes going on there here's the panel release so you can put your batteries in here and there's your magnets so we've got some super strong magnets on here and it corresponds with those on the actual device this is a dual 18650 so we're going to put a couple of uh what have we got here? VCT sixes by Sony, and right. So just see the polarities. This would be better in white, by the way, Elif, if you're watching, because in certain lights the negative can look like a positive as well. And I always say this, but uh, yeah, it just annoys me a little bit. Uh, I should have put the actual battery strap across. Well, we have done. Yeah, we got the battery strap in there. Sprung mounted contacts on the bottom flick that bit over there lovely that it's got a battery strap it makes uh, getting them out a little bit easier get the positive in there positive down and then as ever i just slide it over and it clips into place the magnets on here are awesome so we're going to screw the elo pop on top as well and it comes on just like this with 30 watts uh, selected so let's just um, well let's talk about the screen first there's your battery markers they're independent ones we've got the resistance you call the voltage and your amps drawn when you start firing it so five clicks turns it off there you go turn it back on again five clicks right so to go to the main menu it's uh, three clicks and we're in variable wattage we've got three memories here memory three memory two memory one stainless steel temperature control titanium nickel back to variable wattage so let's just pick uh, nickel for example it shows you your temperature there so you can go up and down we're in fahrenheit at the moment so i think it's 200 to 600 round robins from 100 to 315 and then back to 200 fahrenheit 
Right, it didn't say in the manual, I don't think, but uh, if you want to adjust the wattage in temperature control, hit four clicks. Whoops, I just done five, oh, an idiot. There you go, and now you can adjust your wattage if you're in temperature control. And then just press it again, you can adjust your temperature. So we're just going to put it in uh, one of the memories now. So three clicks, go to memory one, new call up and same down, we we'll press up for new. And if you want to select your TCR values, because basically this is in uh, temperature coefficient of resistance mode at the moment, you select up and fire. This is the other part of the menu. You've got the joystick there. You can lock your resistance by pressing that button. This one here is whether you've got puff time or amps as shown on the main screen. This one here is to put it in stealth mode. So just basically the screen goes out when you're vaping. Go across again and you can't quite see it, but that does say uh, memory one to three. So if you click on that and then you can select your memory that you want to go into. And then you can adjust your TCR value. Now I've got that uh, for stainless steel 316L somewhere around that 89 to 95 I think it is and then we've got the logo there you can switch the logo on and off I believe you can put custom logos on this I haven't tried we've got your version number there and your firmware across again we've got voltage left in your batteries and then you get the back arrow here and then we're back into your main screen so let's put it into wattage now. There you go. Just have a look at the scroll. Goes up in ones, which is super awesome. Up to 160 watts with no round robin. And all the way back down to 1.1 watts. So it's uh, really easy to use. I like the fact that it does go up in ones unless you, I think it's under 10 watts. Let's just have a look. 20 watts, anything under 20 watts, it goes up in 0.1. So it's great if you want to fine tune your mouth to lungs under 20 watts, anything over, it just goes in ones because you don't really need to be messing around with 0.1 increments. Right, let's hold the up and down buttons down and see what happens. Key locks, so this will still fire think it was still fire yeah but you just can't uh, inadvertently adjust the parameters hold them down again to unlock it back up top of the ice stick mix kit <laughs> say that one after a few bits anyway we got the elo pop tank and we've got the ice stick mix uh, mod here what are my thoughts for both of these well we'll talk about uh, well let's just talk about it as a kit actually because if we look at it i think it looks uh, pretty good we got that nice matching drip tip with the resin panel this side though is where it goes a little bit mental uh, i'm not so sure about the pattern on there especially when we've got uh, this uh, particular drip tip on there but i have tried to do some matchy matches but if you just put a black drip tip on it it doesn't look quite so bad but uh, yeah that was just the first thing i saw i thought oh my god what is this it's uh, gonna drive me it's like looking at one of those uh, illusion pattern things you see but uh, anyway that's by the by let's talk about the tank first right this is very well put together this tank we've got no rough edges the paint works very nice on it we've got an awesome child lock on here where's the marker you got to look where it is first but do you know what i mean you're not going to open that in a hurry if you don't know what you're doing so clicks into place stays in place and it's I do like it it's proper push fill system this one how they should be the afc control on here it's got a lovely bit of restriction i love it when you get a, a device that's got a nice bit of restriction to it but it's not too hard i hate it when you have to sort of struggle to um, move the afc but it just glides nicely and uh, we've got stoppers on both sides too so that is really good it all goes together very well let's put it up to 60 watts we'll talk about the mod in a minute but we'll just give this tank a little toot Right, we've got the airflow fully open on there. There is a little bit of restriction. 
trying to think what it is probably a six and a half to seven out of ten so we have got a bit of restriction there because we've got that like golf ball thing in the middle of the call now i've uh, seen those before i think it was the ampex i reviewed that had that and i wasn't an avid fan but this one works really well we're getting a nice smooth draw from it and that's with it fully open so let's knock it off to halfway a little bit more turbulent there it's quarter open now and it's too restrictive for me i think this one shines basically if you do leave it wide open let's try cranking it up a little bit it says it can go up to 90 so bear with me here we go that is that is basically bordering on getting a dry hit so put it down to 85 that is banging i think 80 85 at a push but 80 watts gives you really good flavor you get good flavor at around 40 to 60 watts as well but if you push up to 80 getting pretty awesome flavor on here I'm, I'm telling you this one is actually comparing with the likes of the uh, horizon falcon and the mesh pro not as good as the mesh pro but it's a uh, pretty damn close to, to what the falcon delivers so i'm really impressed with this one it's just a shame it's only got two mil capacity but what can you do i don't know if the non-eu version you probably get a bubble tank with it but i'm not sure anyway let's talk about this little mod then right f first impressions with this i thought is smaller than i was expecting it's uh, really compact for a dual 18650 so this is nice and compact like if you've got smallish uh, hands uh, or even medium sized hands like mine it uh, fits really well in hand and it's not very heavy at all this one i think it weighs about 208 grams something like that i think i read but uh, yeah for females out there uh, or uh, just gentlemen who've got uh, slightly smaller hands i think you'll uh, really get on with the form factor on this one it just feels lovely in hand nice smooth edges on it this back panel even though it looks a little bit mad it's uh, really it's got a nice smooth feel but uh, the resin is nice as well i just wish it had two of these panels on the same design it would have looked uh, much better in my opinion but the panels come off very easily indeed you got super strong magnets on it look at it it just attracts itself to it what about the chip that's inside well it's called the avatar chip uh we've got what are the specs on here we've got 0 0.05 to 3 ohms uh we've got all the variable wattage the temperature control in the nickel titanium stainless steel and you've got your tcrs and your memories that you can put in there i have actually tried this in stainless steel like i say i'm not a temperature control vapor but i did see if it worked it, i did put a stainless steel build in there and it seemed to work reasonably well like i say i'm not a tc aficionado i tend to use just uh, wattage vaping but it seems to work for me and it's all in there if you want to experiment right it goes from 1 to 160 watts this one so let's get a, a bit of an rda on top and see what this can do we'll put it to a 130 watts Right, I have tested this against my Modifying Lyra and Drone. The Drone's got DNA chip, the Modifying is, uh, it's got its own chip in it, but it hits like an absolute train. Now, 130 watts, this one isn't uh, competing with it, but um, anything up to 100 watts, it's uh, reading tr quite a true sort of value. But for the su super high wattages, it does go up to 160 as well. just doesn't f feel quite like it's hitting them in my opinion but for your regular vaping anything from your mouth to lung up to like 100 watts i think it uh, works like a, a champion it is a decent chip in there don't get me wrong it's got all of those features in there it's um, got a very nice board i just love the resin panels uh just wish it had two panels on it but all round device like if you're not going to if you don't want super high wattage vaping then i think this one is a decent little device if you're uh, new to vaping or you're uh, transitioning from onto a 
pen style kit onto sub ohm vaping like with the included tank that comes with it you are not going to go wrong because this e-leaf uh, lo pop is uh, an awesome tank in fact i think i'm going to keep on using this one just think it complements it very well and for an all-round kit i think you can get for 69.99 in the uk it's a very good value for money now the battery life on here is well i haven't mentioned that it's pretty awesome actually this is uh, last me a over the day like from a moderate vaping if you're going to be chain vaping you're obviously not going to get a day's worth out of it but for a dual battery device i think it's got a good battery management in it and uh, the screen as well we haven't said about the screen it's uh, super bright we've got no troubles uh, reading it outside or anything like that the menu system's quite uh, user intuitive so uh, no quibbles with that the fire buttons are nice and clicky and just all round i just think it's an all round very good kit this one and very good value for money so big thanks to uh, johnny at uh, uk vapor brands for sending it over for review it's very much appreciated sir so if you enjoyed the review please give the video a thumbs up it's very much appreciated it helps with the analytics of the channel for anyone new that's watching consider subscribing too and make sure you hit the little bell notification you'll be notified of all my latest videos now i've got my own website too it's mf8.co.uk and you can also find me on facebook instagram and twitter all the links are below the video so until next time guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you again very soon okay cheers